Hello, welcome to our video. Tonight we will be showing you very special Russian science. You will be pleased audience. My name is Dr. Raknik and this is my English assistant, Dr. Veronica. Hello. Alright, enough suspense. Veronica, power on. Ladies and men, I present to you the very first Christian robot. His name is Chris. Hello, Chris. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> As you can see, Chris has a fully functional artificial body. He can hear, speak, and react. But more importantly, react in the correct Christian response. Veronica? Yes, Chris. So, if a homeless man asked you for a dollar, do you A, ignore the homeless man, B, give a dollar to the homeless man, or C, give a dollar and a flyer for the church? I would have to go with a C, give him a dollar and a flyer to the church. I would also have to say, God bless you. Hmm, very good. Next question. If a pastor says, Amen, as a question like so, Amen, do you respond with A, silence, B, Amen, or C, Tupac? I would have to go with B, Amen. Good, good. Impressive, no? We have brought in the test subject to test the perfection of Chris. Uh, You see me? Can you might look at it? Her name is Beth. Hello, Beth. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Beth here is a Christian, isn't that right, Beth? Um, yes. We will be testing Beth's imperfective Christian skills against Chris's perfect robot skills. Veronica? Yes. Get ready for field testing. Now we will conduct highly advanced science experiments proving the effectiveness of our Christian robots. Shall we begin? Amen. Sure. Let the unfair experiment begin. Amen. 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 My best friend. Hey, Amen, so brother. Woo! From faith, Cause you have all I need to take. That's why I think I am, I am, I am. Amen. 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 We had many more tests to conduct, but I believe that it is obvious that Chris's abilities far surpass Betty's. So, for our last test, we will have our uh, test subject judge who is the better Christian. This is Tracy. Say hi, Tracy. Hi. Tracy is feeling depressed. She is seeking godly counsel and advice. Whoever she thinks does the best will be deemed the best Christian. Can I have some tissue? Let the experiment begin! Hi. What seems to be the dilemma? Well, I just lost my job and my boyfriend thinks I'm useless. There, there, you crying mess. You see, the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 22, Be joyful always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, 
for this is God's will for you. Uh huh. And it also says that you need to be content in all things. Okay. Now, 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 we mustn't forget. In John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Right. Well, I've been praying for you. There you go. Ben, you may attempt. It's Beth. No child of God is useless. You know that. He's your father and he loves you. So don't let some earthly ignorant guy tell you otherwise. And about the job, you're gonna find one. Because he's our father, he always provides, right? Here, give me your phone. I'm gonna put my number in here. Text me tonight and let me know everything that happened, okay? Okay, Huggy Buddies, time for results. Tracy, my emotional mess. Who from the two were the better representatives of Jesus? Chris, the awe-inspiring Christian robot? Or Beth? <clears throat> Beth. Aha, you see Russian science. Wait, what? Yeah, Beth actually listened to me and spoke with me. But, but she didn't even use any scripture. She didn't even use John 3.16. She didn't have to. She showed me comfort and care. Chris didn't. And most of the scriptures he used didn't even apply to my situation. <laughs> Thank you for watching Very Important Science Special Video. We are currently working on fixing the problems with our current software to make the perfect Christian, which is implementing love into the software. God help us.